This project will be a fun way to get the fall started. It's a jack-o'-lantern rattle. And uh, jack-o'-lanterns are a lot of fun this time of year at Halloween. Hi, I'm Dan Dudley, and uh, this is what your piece will look like by the end of this project. Next, you would need to take and fire it as well as glaze it. All right, we're going to start off trying to make two equal balls of clay. All right, this helps me to be able to make the same size uh, pinch pot that then I will then join together. But uh, pinch pot, I've shown you over and over again, is a technique I use, and it's one. It's a really good idea to learn uh, to make a pinch pot. There's a lot of things that you can do without being able to throw clay. This is a fun way to uh, experiment with shapes. And it's one of those things that, you know, it just takes practice. All right, so I'll do the same thing with a second with a second piece of clay. And I'm doing this really quickly to, just to give you an idea of how to do these projects. It's going to take you a little longer. And remember not to give up. Things take time to learn how to do. This project is a good way to learn several techniques. All right, so see how it goes together. And if it doesn't, you can adjust it and then you would score the edges. Okay, because of this being a rattle, I'm going to take a second and talk to you about uh, some of the challenges of a rattle. So, if I took a piece and made a bead and put it a wet piece of clay, see how it, if I touch it to the side, it will stick. So instead of doing that, each time I'm working on a project, I make little beads and put them into a bowl. So see how this one is dry? And it doesn't stick. Not that it won't, still won't have challenges, but that's one of the first steps to making a rattle that doesn't stick to the side of your piece. All right, now we're going to try to stick these two pieces together. And you need to go around slowly and see where the problems are going to be and slowly line those edges up and you're holding the piece so you're not crushing it but I've made it all the way around now I see that it's all together I start sliding my finger or my thumb back and forth across the top edge making sure not to crush the piece as I do it but I just take my time and slowly work my way around all the way around okay you can also roll it in your hands because of the scoring, you're trying to press that together. Now we're going to try to flatten it a little bit, but don't press hard because you will make it really flat. That's going to be the top. Now we're going to round the bottom just a little bit. That's going to be a little more round. Take a piece of clay and we'll roll it into a ball. And then I will flatten that and start making it into a disc. I'm just using my fingers to make an edge and pressing with my thumb down to flatten it out. Now we want to take and mark the top of the rattle because we're going to make a faux hole. So take your tool and make the circle a little deeper. Then you take your finger and, and press in, but be gentle as you're pressing in there. Just keep defining that the edge of that hole. Now we'll score the piece. Now we'll take the lid and we want to create an edge. So we take our finger and our thumb and press so that it, uh, it the bottom is small and the top is large. And that's going to make it look as if the, the pumpkin lid is sticking out. Score it. Be careful when you press it. And I'm going to take a second and redefine, now that I've put the lid on, redefine that, uh, that edge. Then I grab a pen tool and uh, press down in the center of that lid. You're creating a place to put the uh, vine that comes out of the top. So now we're going to roll a piece of clay into a snake, uh, having one end be thin and the other end be fat. And I like to take, uh, you can just pull off the excess, I like to take my pen tool and, and Put an indenture in there, score both sides. 
shape it up all right a pumpkin isn't round it has bumps on it so we're going to go around the lid and evenly take and make a line and then press up so that it gets a little bit of a ruffle and that's going to make it look like the top of the pumpkin then we follow those lines all the way around the piece but not the whole piece half of it is going to stay clean so that we can put the face on that part and you're always shaping things and cleaning it up okay next we're going to make two half circles like a moon one's going to be a little bit larger and that's going to be the top teeth you want some thickness to it and that's how it'll go together now with the top teeth we're going to do two teeth in the front that'll be four all together then you cut out the part that aren't teeth and do a 45 degree angle cut and this will be helping you to blend that piece now on the second the bottom teeth we're going to do three teeth one in the center and two on either side that way they will alternate with the upper teeth and once again you do the 45 degree angle cut this helps when you are trying to blend it with the piece always scoring now we want to put this on the bottom half really low on the on the rattle here's where you're going to use that 45 degree angle cut to be able to blend you just keep dragging your finger across that part and uh, always clean it up and shaping you can use a tool to kind of shape the teeth so we repeat the scoring now we're going to line up the teeth so that they alternate with the bottom teeth and then drag your fingers to uh, blend blend it you're dragging your fingers across there and cleaning it up all at the same time. Now with a jack-o'-lantern, we want to go in there and we want to make the rest of the smile between the teeth on the side. We want to dig that out and create the corner of the mouth. Same thing on the other side. Dig that out and create the corner so now we're going to create the eyes by think of a triangle and when you're digging in the clay there's always going to be a rim that you're creating and I just pull that off dig down there pull that little rim off then you're going to take your tool and press down two little holes to look like nostrils we're going to take and finish out by putting the little details of finishing the lines out that make the shape of the pumpkin okay you could finish there but I like to put uh, pupils in the eyes. So we'll roll two balls of clay and score both eyes. Then I press the piece between my finger and my thumb, which will flatten it out just a little bit, and I use my fingers to blend that one edge. Then take a tool and just clean up, make sure that it's, uh, you have a sharp edge so that the details will show up. Alright, and now we're going to take a second and sign the piece. Now this rattle has air trapped inside that we have to let escape. So I'll take a pen tool and put holes in these into the piece. Now you can shake it and tap it, but if you do this too much, that bead will stick to the side. But there's your jack-o'-lantern rattle. Hope you had fun.